Booyah. All right, let's trade places. Let's do it. Everybody choose a fictional character. Say your choice out loud. Uh, Oat the other players before clicking. That's a typo right there. Uh, 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 Mickey Mouse. Oat. He's not fictional. He's real. That's <laughs> <right. laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> uh, okay, okay, just oh, uh, any fictional character. Any fictional character. Santa Claus. Mr. Hanky the Christmas Pooh. Oh, damn you. That was one. Okay, never mind. Then I want the hot dog from from Sausage Party, from Sausage Fest. <laughs> All right. I don't, I don't remember his name. Wait, Kenny. Kenny. Who's from South Park. Oh, from South Park. Oh, the... oh my God! You killed Kenny. Oh my God! Bastards. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So, uh, Mickey Mouse, Santa Claus, a hot uh, dog from Sausage Party. His name is Frank. Frank. Oh, that would make sense. Nice. Yep. Yep. I'm Kenny. And Kenny. Player order is decided based on which fictional character is least likely to know how to pitch a tent correctly. Okay. I Start guess. debating now. Well, it's gotta be Santa Claus. Uh, Frank? Have you seen Sausage Party? No. Yeah, probably a good idea. Uh, <laughs> I'd say Santa Claus. Yeah, Santa Let's Claus is gonna be able to pitch a tent correctly. Well, no, no, it's <laughs> is least likely to know how to pitch a tent. Oh, least likely? It'd be correctly. Frank. How the fuck would I know? I'm a hot dog. Oh, yeah, so it'd be Kenny. Kenny. It's likely. It'd be Kenny. Kenny always oh, yeah, dies. Kenny does always die. He dies every episode. Maybe if he knew how to pitch a tent, he would die But he's, die but so he's much. poor, so like he probably knows how to. I, I it. would say that Frank <laughs> is, uh, you know, literally the size of a hot dog compared to Kenny. So the hot dog has like no chance of building a tent. Well, well, or, well, or, well, well, never mind. I'm crazy okay. here. I Come can't on. say what I want to say. You can just Noodles. say it. I don't care. Noodles. Okay, so what well, kind of pitch a tent do they mean? Like setting up a tent? Think through it. Pitching a tent. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Okay, uh, so. I sure got it. We got. Word. Okay, we got so, Frank. So. Uh, we got. Kenny. Kenny. Because he's, cause he's a kid. Kenny's a kid. So, he always dies. So that would make yeah. sense. So everything um, makes sense. Okay. Mickey Mouse or Santa Claus? Santa, Santa Claus. Has a lot of experience. As a lives longer than Mickey Mouse. He may also have back problems. Well, well here's Being a joke old, for you lugging for a sack around everywhere. Why does Santa Claus have such a big sack? Good point. Why does Santa Claus? Oh, have oh, it's a, a joke. I thought, yeah, I, I thought you were like, like, what is why? It's a joke. Damn it. Oh, I thought you were wondering why it was so, so big. Why? <laughs> I mean, it comes once a year. Ah! Oh! <laughs> nice. Okay. <laughs> So Mickey Santa. or Santa? <laughs> so Santa then Mickey. Look at me, I am so sorry, sis. You know what? I'm not the one that told the joke, so I'm not worrying about it. Okay, all right, all right. Um, Sa I say Santa then Mickey because Santa is also like old. So why is he gonna go camping? He has a motorhome or something. That's true. He okay. has an RV. <laughs> yeah, he probably has an RV too. In a workshop. Okay, so he, Santa, he Santa gets his iPhones now. Santa crazy. gets third. I, I will be last. He's not real, Ezra. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Santa Claus is real, Griffin. <laughs> Gosh. All right. Where do you want to go? I am noodles. <laughs> Santa Claus isn't real. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Oh, what, what do I need? Uh, well, I'm pretty. I'm pretty even across the board. What do I want to do? Boldness is. I think is going to score me more points with uh, Damien. Hundred percent honesty there. Oh my god! Um, let's <laughs> let's go bold. All right, the manor. Everybody, <laughs> I'm noodles. And this is how you summon the devil! <laughs> For one night, Satan gets to be my slave! <laughs> oh wait, my bitch! <laughs> Why, Satan? Do you want to be my friend? <laughs> As you're searching the haunted manor, you come across an enchanted doll that promises to grant all your wishes. So come to me! <laughs> you take it! It possesses you, of course. Oh. It turns out the spirit that was inside it is exactly like you in every way, so nobody notices the difference. <laughs> Why, I'm Why, I'm what? what? <laughs> the only difference is that the, the, the spirit is a little, little bit bolder than you. So you basically gain plus two boldness. Sweet. <laughs> Let's get bold. Later, Damien and Milo are helping you make the most fire insta post of all time. Damien did your hair and makeup, and Milo's posed you elegantly in front of like 80 ghosts. This shot is everything. 
The light is refracting through the ghost exactly as I planned. Now, Noodles, just try and look like you care a little less. Okay. MMK? Good. Huh. Now that I fixed him up, he looks kind of good. Guess you're not such a dog after all, Noodles. No, I'm a squid. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a <laughs> Suddenly, the door bursts open. You see a tall, lanky, masked man. He's got a knife and the gleam of murder in his eyes. Uh-oh. Hey, teens. Prepare to die because I'm going to kill you. You can run if you want, but it makes it way less fun if you, for me if you do. Oh, I got noodles. <laughs> ah! Oh, no. It's a... Uh, um, wait. What the fuck is your name again? Uh, yes, I'm realizing that I don't remember his name either. Can you enlighten us before you murder us, darling? You guys? What the hell? It's me, Jerry, the serial killer Jerry. Hi, Jerry. I'm Noodles. That stabs horny teens in this weird old house. We that know, Jerry, remember? <laughs> Dude, your name is Jerry? That's the least intimidating serial killer name I've ever heard. What are you gonna do? Poke me with a toothpick? Damien's right. Jerry is a depressing name. Oh. Like in Rick and Morty, <laughs> he's a loser. It doesn't provoke fear. It's not memorable. Jerry, dear, your name is a key pillar of your whole serial killer brand. Nice. Okay, time out from killing. Uh, are, are you serious? Because I kind of noticed that people don't always take me seriously when I kill them. Maybe they're just not scared of my name. Fucking duh, dude. Nobody was scared of Richard the guy who stabs nurses and loves crepes until he changed his name to the... Trash bag torso impaler. Don't let Damon worry you, Jerry. We'll help you rebrand. It's what we do. How about this? The silken handed San Antonio Slayer. Classy? No? Whoa. That's an awesome serial killer name. Only problem is, I'm not from Texas. What if we went. Uh, what if we went with something super classic? Like, uh, the Butcher of Baby Blood? Meh, you kill more teens than babies, right? And you're super weird about sex stuff? Wait! Holy shit, I just figured it out! How about... The Campsite Ball Ripper? <laughs> Damien, no, that's absolutely I, inspired, but I just checked. Sounds better. And apparently someone already has that, the handle at Campsite Ball Ripper. Guess Aww. that name's taken? It's the noodles. It's the noodles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> noodles is like... <laughs> like, like, like... He's Shelby just like... Profiles. <laughs> oh, 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 that's one noodles profile. It, it's his. He's just like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucking hate the campsite ball ripper. That guy's my number one serial killer rival. He's always ripping everybody's balls up before I can stab him. Fuck, this is so hard. Should I just quit, you guys? Oh no, Jerry's so discouraged. He's ready to quit serial killing. He hates seeing people give up on their dreams. Come up with the perfect serial killer nickname for Jerry. Uh -oh. Jerry the alleged murderer. Or <laughs> renowned Austrian symbolist murderer Gustav Klimt. <laughs> Fuck me, those are both terrible. <laughs> Jerry the alleged murderer. No, no, we're not going for Jerry because Jerry is his name already. But the alleged murderer. But alleged murderer. So, like, it, it's. Give yeah, I'm going bottom one. That, one. that one's better. Final answer? No one likes Jerry. Fuck Jerry. Yeah, I did do that one. So creative! Yeah. So you're saying he should give up the name Jerry and go with Gustav Klimt, as in revolutionary symbolist painter known for his frank eroticism? So classy. Gustav Klimt rocks! His painting are basically the inspiration for all my murders! Oh, I'm noodles! Yeah, Klimt is actually pretty metal. I've nutted to the kiss a few times. Oh, I'm noodles! What the hell? <laughs> noodles, noodles, they're just like... I gotta go to uh, camp, uh, go to the fire. <laughs> we should brainstorm some ways to make the Clint reference more connected to your brand. To make the pun work, I think you should only stab people from now on. Stab, stab. Uh, no complaints from me. I love to stab people. Don't get me wrong. I'll miss choking people out with the razor wire and my bare hands, but I can manage. Trust me, Jerry. If you're trying to murder, stabbing works. 86% of the people I've stabbed in the face have died. <laughs> Jerry, I just googled some Gustav Klimt good, quotes you can use to can't, can't say no to inspire that. murders. Here's one. All art is erotic. Maybe you can think of your murders as an erotic art? Mm, that totally makes sense, you guys. My favorite Klimt quote is, Truth is like fire. To tell the truth means to blow and burn. Can we use that somehow? Of course. That quote is clearly about the way that death, I murder, is a form of truth. Oh, how poetic, Jerry. Or should I say, 
How poetic, Gustav. That's crazy. Holy shit, we forgot that classic Gustav clip quote. Remember to always dismember the corpse of the dead before throwing them into the river? OMG, that's the most famous clip quote there is. Uh, this is the most co uh, compatible brand synergy I've ever witnessed. Wow, I'm just blown away. Thank you all so much. I've never really had people in my life who believed in me like this, you know? Ah, we're proud of you, you murderous little dudes. Now go off and kill some people. Make your Milo and Damien proud. Awesome, I'm ready to step up my murdering game. Watch out, innocent victims. Here comes Gustav Klimt, and he's got a big knife with your name on it. You all wave goodbye to Jerry. Uh, oh. Watching him ride off into the sunset and wishing him the best of luck with all his murders. It's a goddamn poignant emotional moment. Uh, that crazy kid. <laughs> He's got a wild side. Takes after me. Thanks for giving him that nickname, Noodles. Sure seemed to make him happy. You really are good at nicknames, Noodles. Maybe we should nickname you Noodles, the sexually attractive man. Your new nickname is hit, a hit around camp, and it's much better than your old nickname, Lunchable Farts. <laughs> the powerful new vibe gives you plus two fun and plus one bonus. Oh, I'm the Noodles. He's like all popular around there. Look yeah. at me, so happy. Look at him down there. Hey! <laughs> Look at him. He's so oh, happy. you should. I think it's in think Scout just, HQ. Like, His face changes in Scout HQ. I think. Really? If, if not, it's at the camp dome. Wait, wait his face changes? Uh, it, 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 you all know what I mean. Okay, okay. See, uh, I need smarts and fun. Let's do fun. Okay, that would be the lake. Right. I'm gonna refill my drink real quick. Okay. <sighs> that day at the lake, you start a super soaker fight yep. that turns into uh. an all-out war. The enemy team manages to capture the, the northern section of the lake, but you take a few of their members hostage and learn their empire's weaknesses. You lead a full-scale infiltration. Thousands of soldiers got totally soaked. TM is a bloodbath. After several hours, the enemy team surrenders, and you gain plus two fun from the peace treaty. Yay! You know, I got two fun. You meet up with Milo for an intense session of jazz appreciation, but your emotional moment is ruined by a big stupid jerk. <laughs> oh, oh, this guy again? Uh, again? <clears throat> okay. He's got the sea monster carrying it, so... <laughs> oh, I get paid one penny per hour. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um... <clears throat> <clears throat> mm, let me drink some dew. Some dew? Okay. A push that in jazz, I see. Well, when I'm through with this camp, the only music you'll be appreciating is a soft rock cover of Is It Breaky Heart on LSVP? Gasp. You mean you're going to turn Camp Spooky into a dad's house? You wish you were that lucky, but I'm an evil CEO. After all, so I'm here to buy up Camp Spooky and turn it into a shopping mall. Really? How'd you get to be so wealthy with so little business sense? No one goes to shopping malls anymore. Oh yeah, how chat? But then where do teens go to hang out with their friends? The internet. Okay, okay. But where do brands hawk the latest rares? The internet. Fine, but where, I ask you, do people buy useless gadgets they know they need or truly want in order to stave off the boredom of their empty lives? Uh, the Skymall catalog. Also the internet. Trust us the internet. It's got me up every time. Unless, yes, that's it. I'll buy the internet and build a shopping mall on it. Just have to make a few cars. Do you even know how the internet works? It's not an object you can buy. And is that a car phone attached to a sports car you didn't drive here? You're done. Turns out the Vanderbilts were looking to sell the internet after all. Too many peasants, they said. Looks like it's time to ruin it with business. True to his word, the CEO soon makes the internet even more of a consumerist wasteland than it was before. Also, he installs an Annie's pretzel somehow. <laughs> no! My beloved internet! How will followers authentically collect with my brand when the internet is polluted with all these brands? I didn't want to have to do this, but there's a second secret internet I happen to know about. Ordinarily, only influencers are allowed, but this is an emergency. If we could just transfer everyone else to that internet, then we'd all be free of that mad mess. Uh, machinations. But how we will convince everyone to jump ship? Uh, spread a rumor that the current internet has reached its expiration date and will soon start to smell bad. 
Internet is too fast nowadays. Make the new internet slower so people can really savor it. Ugh. Oh, that sounds terrible. Ooh. Let's do the top one. Top one? Final answer? Yep, final answer. Not so charming. Uh, ouch. Oh well. But, uh, like, uh, they're not the love interest you want yeah. to go for initially. Yeah. Okay. But, is that true? Lying is a bad look, you know. It's true. You were sure of them. Haven't they noticed the signs? Hmm. Well, when the food goes rotten, it starts <clears throat> to smell bad. Take on an unappetizing color and make an increasing number of racist comments. <laughs> oh, wow. Right. Oh, wow. <laughs> but how will we spread the word without actually using the internet? I don't want you to get, <laughs> I don't want you getting funny. sick. That's a, that's Hashtag health is wealth. Yeah, the whole internet thing was just some bullshit you made up. You'll be fine. You log on and soon develop a terrible Stargate. So oh, no. Did you put your fingers in your mouth after touching the internet? <laughs> when will you learn not to always put your fingers in your mouth? No time to respond to Milo's valid criticism. You immediately run to the bathroom where you spend hours uncontrollably, sh uncontrollably <laughs> shitposting. <laughs> While you're stuck in there, Milo forms an unstoppable team to spread the word about the internet's poor food safety. The team consists of Gordon Ramsay, Mega Gordon Ramsay, and the little rat that lives under Gordon Ramsay's chef hat and teaches him about food safety. <laughs> They convince everyone to stop using the old internet by showing them all pictures of you stuck on the toilet, spewing dank memes. When you eventually crawl out of the bathroom, utterly exhausted, Milo's waiting for you. Hello. Thanks for your help earlier. If you weren't so completely disgusting, our message would have had a lot of less vile reach. I admire the fact that you were willing to completely destroy your attractiveness to me in order to make a larger point about internet safety. I'd shake your hand, but that's a thing all people do. Also, you smell like shit posts. Goodbye, darling! Damn the right! It takes all afternoon to wash the stink off. You scrub so hard, you also lose you lose minus two fun oh, no. and minus one bullets. I need to blow my nose. <coughs> Ouch. Okay. Uh, Gracie, yeah. it's your turn. It's my turn. Uh, let's go. What? What? Where? How? Uh, haven't we gone before? Uh, no one's gone to Scout HQ. Let's go to that one. <clears throat> That day, squares you, go to Scout HQ. <laughs> <laughs> that day you happen to take on the same Monster Scouts class as Mamimi, the Yoni girl. You, you didn't get good sleep last night, so you ask her if she has any of that weird energy drink she let you have once during high school. She doesn't, but she does have some very strange smelling coffee that could help. Ooh. Where does this girl even find these weird ass drinks? The coffee is delicious, but it comes with side effects. You get an acquired fear of caterpillars and you grow a plus your creativity in your hair. A fear of caterpillars? Later, you're with Milo and Damien. You've been trying to sell Monster Scout cookies all afternoon. It's not going super great. Hey, you! Random passerby guy! Buy these fucking cookies or I'll goddamn murder you in your face! Holy oh, shit. Damien. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna use that to sell security systems tomorrow, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's you're, what I'm gonna do on the phone. You're vicious, but you're passionate. That's what really matters when it comes to sales. Our passion will convince this man to- Oh, he ran away. Oops. After a highly unsuccessful afternoon of cookie selling, you three go back to Scout HQ and report your sales numbers to Coach. Mmm, so you kids are saying that you sold negative cookies. As in, you have more cookies now than when you started selling them? Yeah, but it's not our fault. Selling these cookies is impossible. I tried threatening this guy at knife point to buy some, and it didn't even work. I had to stab him. Even yourself. Uh, nothing is impossible for scouts like you. Remember these cookies aren't just a healthy snack and a way for us to pay for the big rock climbing field trip at the end of summer. They're also a wonderful way to teach you scouts entrepreneurship and problem solving skills. You kids are smart, so let's talk ideas. How do we sell these cookies? Subscribe. Maybe the issue is brand recognition. Let's focus on social media. I like to start a TikTok on behalf of the Scout Cookies brand and we should obvi improve our dismal SEO. That'll take forever. Let's rob a bank. When we get to the vault, We'll take all the cash and leave all the cookies. It's the perfect cry. Then we blow up the bank. I'm so proud of you, Scouts. You were really cooking up an idea. Brainstorm here. Uh, and remember, the Scout cookies are made with healthy ingredients. I'll get people to buy them. Oh, Coach. You well-intentioned mentor figure. I hate to do this, but you're in desperate need of a reality check. Nobody wants to buy healthy cookies. Millennials killed the sugar cookie industry a while ago, and healthy cookies were hot for a minute, but frankly, they're going out of style with the younger generation. Miles right, the Scout cookies taste horrible! Have you even looked at the ingredients list? These cookies have fucking carrots in them! Coach, I love you, but don't ever try to trick me into eating vegetables, especially not carrots. 
the least metal vegetable. Wow, that was uh, hard to hear. But you kids are my scouts, and I value your honest feedback. Tell me the truth. How do we get our cookies to appeal to the modern young youngsters? Ooh, appealing to modern youngsters is your whole thing. Quick, suggest a cookie flavor that's irresistible to Gen Z. Yeah, also the one is eating your friends' corpses to survive make corpse tapered survival cookies. Teens nowadays love to eat ass. Ask for cookies in the future. We'll see that one. <laughs> Not so fun. I disagree. <laughs> We're about to sleep, but I got, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> ass flavored cookies. You never had an idea this good. You're off and make a test batch of cookies and bring them to Milo Damon to show off your genius. What did the, what did the person whose ass we are eating eat previous prior to the eating of the ass? <laughs> I feel like that makes a difference. Hot wings? Gonna taste different than if you just had a peanut butter jelly sandwich. I'm just saying. Pineapple. Yeah. Pineapple? Yeah, that could be a thing. You have Milo and Damien <laughs> both try a cookie, so they can give your feedback on the flavors. Is there too much ass in these cookies? Not enough ass? Just the right amount of ass? I must say, Red, I was skeptical when you told me that these cookies were ass-flavored, and I was right to doubt you. These cookies are a pathetic imitation of the pleasures of ass to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fake yeah, ass. this tastes like fake ass to me. Did you even put real ass extract in these cookies? Is this artificial ass flavoring? Eating acids, one of the greatest pleasures that a mortal can experience. <laughs> There's simply no substitute hell? for it. These cookies are an aesthetic insult to humanity. And just think of the consequences. What if your cookie selling plan actually worked? An entire generation would eat these cookies instead of eating actual ass. Nice. <laughs> it's obvious that Red doesn't get ass eating, you know. Super noob shit. <laughs> Ouch. Exactly, Damien. She just doesn't see the vision. And I'm afraid I can't tolerate that lack of oh, taste. No. <laughs> get out of here, Red, and don't come back until you've eaten a literal mile of ass. <laughs> you want to tell your friends that you definitely eat ass, and you eat ass all the time. You eat ass like you've been starving in the desert and just found an ass-eating buffet. <laughs> but it's too late. Your friends are gone, and you're left alone with your cookies. You taste one. It tastes like ass. Duh. What do you think was going to happen? The ass-eating gods are displeased, and you oh, lose no. minus two charm and minus one creativity. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Okay. <laughs> All right. So, Camp Dome or the woods? Camp Dome. Let's do Camp Dome. How much longer does this game have? Uh, uh. This uh. So uh, we'll, we'll see after this turn. Okay. And then like it'll show us like how long. That day at the Camp Dome, you all do the Thumb Wars. That means the campers are waging war against the Thumb Warriors, the supernaturally buff Thumb monster camps from Camp Thumb. It's surprisingly, surprisingly terrifying. You were all sure to lose, but thanks to your quick thinking, you had to plan to fight the Thumb Warriors with their greatest weakness, predators with opposable thumbs. Some may say that your team assisting uh, a pack of rabid mountain lions on the competitors is cheating, but you prefer the term strategic. You gain plus two charm. Hmm. You and Scott are about to engage in your favorite stress-busting activity, sudden death badminton, when Joy and Calculester show up to poop the party. But, you know, if anyone was gonna poop on this party, you're glad it's a pair of campus with such fine asses. Hello, friends! We are here because I have statistically determined that you are the pair of campers Aww. most likely to accidentally points. injure yourselves or others during a dome game. And also because it looks like Scott is about to try and eat a stick of dynamite. Uh, can, can I not do that? But it's red! To mitigate the risk posed by the two of you, we have organized a viewing of the Timeless Safety VHS How to Not Get Your Ass Killed in the Camp Dome, directed by Robert Rodriguez. Oh, movie time! I'll grab some snacks! No, Scott. That is a popcorn bag full of more dynamite. Put it down. Oh, uh, okay. Calculus or pops a VHS into a portable VCR and you settle down for some informative video content. The video is great. You learn how to evade sport bees, how to stay calm when your face is on fire, and the proper silverware to use while drowning a NASIM. Finally, you get to the last session. Lesson. What to do during a werewolf attack. Oh boy! I've never been present and conscious during a werewolf attack, so this will be really useful information for me. The best way to survive a werewolf attack, says the announcer, is to not provoke one. Never under any circumstances expose a werewolf to a full moon. No. Full moon. Got it. To help you recognize and avoid the full moon, says the VHS, here's a high definition picture of one. Please don't show this to any werewolves. Don't show this 
to Eddie. No, friend, Scott, it is pronounced werewolves. Were wolves. I don't think he can hear you, Calculester. I think he's too busy turning into a werewolf because we showed him a picture of a full moon. Oh no, you are correct. And friend Scott has eaten the VCR before it could teach us how to stop him. However, will we turn him back without a soothing VHS narrator to guide us? Um, during your dog training or dog trainer phase, you learn how to teach all the classic tricks, sit, play dead, and turn back into a hot buff dude. To err is human, make Scott err. Um, let's see. There you go. Dog trainer phase, you learn how to teach all the classic tricks. Sit, play dead, turn back and go. Dude. Uh, probably the top answer? Yes, so Yay. smart! You got this. You pull out a bag of Scott treats, actually just sticks of dynamite with the explosive charge removed, and get to work. Wow, Werewolf Scott will do anything for those Scott treats. Look at him sitting still and shaking hands and not licking his own penis. Great, this is working way better than it has any right to. Now quick, turn him back into a hot buff guy. Whoa, 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 not so fast, as they say in the dog training business. Dogs are like bicycles. You can't just turn them into a hot buff man right away. You've got to work up to the main event, run through some more basic tricks for us. Get all the classics, playing dead. Cooking a souffle, not mulling anyone for over 45 seconds. You even get him to bark, I love you, and finish, and pee through a hoop. All good things must come to an end, plus you're out of scot trees. You make the necessary gesture and call out the trick. Oh, okay. What off, What hot buff dude should I turn into? Scott, fantastic. All right, I'll turn into Scott. One second. <laughs> Sorry, I can't do that. It turns out it was really hard to turn into something you already are. You did great, Scott. You did great. Other than those 30 people you mauled while you were a werewolf. But let's be honest, this is Camp Spooky. Their days were numbered. We're just glad to have you back, buddy. Indeed, I am so happy. I composed a song. It is called, Oh, to a friend came back, Scott, in the end. Uh, calculus, the song is utter garbage, probably because his music algorithm is poorly trained. On the bright side, though, it gives you Joyce and Scott an excuse to sit with them and listen to some good music so he can learn what it sounds like. You gain plus two creativity and plus one fun. Let's trade places! Everybody chooses something bad. Say your choice out loud to the other players before clicking. Orphans. Eating ass. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um... Orphans <laughs> eating ass. <laughs> what's, what's bad? What's bad? What's bad? Um, Squid attacks. Politicians. Noodles. <laughs> <laughs> so politicians and squid attacks. Noodles is a friendly. Player order is decided based on how wary you'd be of a talking otter who suddenly appeared one day offering to take the bad thing away from your life if you make him a pasta every day. Start debating now. Ooh. Like, hello there, I am a talking otter. Would you like me to get so, you your orphans forever? <laughs> <laughs> all you need hello? is to give me pasta every day. If you feed me pasta, I'll get rid of all I, the politicians in the world. I'll get rid of the eating ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Teenagers, no! Killer squids. Okay. An otter would have the power to take away the all killer right. squid. Question, all right. How often... Do you encounter killer squids? Actually, quite often. Every fucking day. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're encountering one right now. Oh, your noodles! <laughs> All right, okay. Um, I say just do random. Random? I Should we do random? Let's do, so. do random. Okay. Please don't ask how often you eat ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. All right, that's the so, order. Pretty much good. the same as before. Okay, go. that's, we are uh, almost halfway through. Sweet. Okay. Let's do it. So, Gracie, uh, you have three options. Okay. So the first type of option is uh, to sit with your love interest. Okay. Uh, or you can sit to uh, Moss Man to uh, spread some gossip that may or may not screw one of us over. Okay. Or if you sit here and if, someone, if uh, one of us sits with you, uh, we get stats. Yeah, do that. Oh, you want this? Do it. You sit on the log by yourself. 
Maybe one of your friends will join you, and you can no, sp- spend. No one's the- gonna want to sit with her anymore because she had artificial ass. <laughs> artificial. Well, how do you think about me? Puking and shit in the memes. <laughs> it's terrible. Maybe one of your friends will join Damn you, tree. and you can spend the evening having fun and making summer memories. Or maybe no one will sit with you, proving once and for all that romance is dead and there is no hope left in you in this universe. That's Camp Spooky for you. Always a fun sleep to cotton me. Now let's see what this night has planned for you. Alright, mm. so if you want someone else besides Milo, who would you go for? So let's see, Mothman will do what? Gossip? Yeah. Maybe that'll get away to the shit memes. The memes are there. It's the on the internet. There, it's, it's eternal gone. now. Okay. Just kidding. Uh, yeah, let's do Mothman. Let's see what happens. Hello there, Vicky. Do you fancy a gossip? Yeah, why not? You could go for a little gossip as a treat. Wonderful. The only problem is, I do not have a gossip. I am fresh out and looking to refill. Would you have a gossip to spare, perchance? You always have a spare gossip to donate to anyone who needs it. Let's go! Choose a player to strike with your gossip skills. Oh no. (laughs) Strike? Now, this could be for or against that individual. And there's no random deal. No. Oh. Let's try noodles. Let's see what happens. Oh, no. It's noodles. <laughs> Choose one. Thundercat, figurines, drugs, eggplants, knives. I enjoy all those things. <laughs> Every <laughs> last one. <laughs> I do all the drugs. I do all the drugs. <laughs> I can inject and start at the same time! <laughs> Uppers, downers! Is, is that what we want? Drugs? Let's do drugs. Like, Let's see what happens. I like Molly! Okay, another one. Oh crap. Uh, singing opera at per- pitch perfect. Thumb <laughs> sucking. Displaying controversial short sighted opinions on climate change. <laughs> on drugs. Doing taxes. I am not a certified <laughs> CPA. <laughs> Let's do thumb sucking. I saw drugs off of thumbs. Type in something you can buy in bulk. Ass. <laughs> if you weren't gonna high five me, I was about to high five myself. Like, it's oh, oh, no, no. Oh. Don't tell okay. me. Let's do it. Ass. Ass. I, I think you can. Uh, well, you probably can. Oh. Can oh, I? what is. Oh, you can't do ASS. I, I can't cuss. Oh, <gasps> that's some bullshit. What? Who puts this? Unless, in here? unless if this censorship makes it more funnier. Do it. Do it. Let's see what happens. Ah, thank you, Vicky. You are truly <laughs> charitable. <laughs> I will pay your kindness <laughs> forward by spreading this gossip amongst my other Hurry gossip noodles. Noodles like here. Ass and bolt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I do enjoy a good bargain. <laughs> Soon, the Moss Man has spread. Spread individual. That's what the government wants you to do. <laughs> Soon, Moss Man has spread your gossip to the entire campground. <laughs> hey, listen! I just heard the weirdest gossip about noodles. Oh, I'm noodles. <laughs> so, as you may know by now, noodles is super into artisanal drugs, right? Uh, which is weird enough by itself. But here's what it, where it gets weirder. When noodles was four, his parents noticed that he. Tend to enjoy thumb sucking way more than most children. <laughs> they were <work> my thumbs! <laughs> <laughs> just going out there random strangers just like... <laughs> In the most unexpected parenting twist, they decided to discourage his behavior by punishing Noodles by forcing him to lick several drugs for an hour a day. Oh gosh. Oh, boy. Now Noodles is so obsessed with drugs that he once sold his Uncle's entire collection of vintage ass in exchange for a very rare one. We'll go the best ones. <laughs> it really makes you think, huh? It does make you think. It makes you think that oh, Noodles is gonna lose minus two fun, and he does! But I like the drums! Here we go! Alright. Let's suck thumbs and drugs again! <laughs> All right. Which one of you guys are on the campfire like drugs? I do. <laughs> All right. Where are you going, Is? Uh, I'll go with uh, David. Uh, you go you're going to sit next to Joy. I'm going to go for my best shot here. <laughs> you're all geared up to invent a new kind of s'more. You're thinking... 
It's a s'more. Look we'll at this. It has cocaine. You're thinking jalapenos, maybe? Then suddenly, give it to me. It's my turn. Damien, Picard's third eye necklace is a powerful and dangerous magical artifact. You don't take turns with it. In fact, you don't touch it at all. But you've had it all day. Yes, because I got it when I defeated Larry the Lich's father after he mysteriously turned evil following his son's third untimely death at Spooky High. Would now you I'm keeping like it safe. Would you like to I'm not understanding what you're not understanding. I think the part you're not understanding is that I want it. Oh boy, you are never going to pioneer the jalapenos more at this rate. Better take your side and score some jalapeno brownie points. That's all those are special ones! Uh, <laughs> if you let Damien hold it, he'll probably just set it on fire and destroy it. But if it's such a danger, dangerous artifact, this should save you a lot of trouble. Damien, leave Joy alone. I have an even cooler magical artifact. It's called Magic the Gathering. So, the so, <laughs> okay, so when you're at a campsite, uh, the answers are based on who you're trying to woo. Oh, gotcha. What do you think? I'm trying to get with the... Uh... So, like, which one's the Damien answer? The top one would be. Yeah. The top one would it's be gotta obvious. be, right? Yeah, because... The if you let Damien be... hold it, he'll probably just set it on fire and destroy it, but if it's a dangerous artifact, this should save Joy a lot of trouble. Yeah. So you'd be doing her a favor. So... Damien, leave Joy alone. I have an even cooler magical artifact. It's called yeah. Magic the Gathering. That sounds like something for her. So setting it on fire would be for him. You do realize that if you pick Joy, this means war, right? <laughs> well, I'm taking my, I'm taking my odds. I'm, ta I'm, I'm playing the odds here. I wanna, I wanna win. Noodles need some. It's been a while. <laughs> um, let's go with uh, the bottom. Ah no! God, fuck you! Oh, damn it! Fuck you! Was my intention. I wanted that dude. I don't want that chick. I told you guys, do the top <laughs> one. Fuck me. Seriously. What's this now? Bullshit, you. Man. Gather magic? I'm angry now! And then do <laughs> what with it? Blow it up? You start to explain, but realize practice is the best Where teacher, so you pull your MTG deck <laughs> out of your hide. pocket. Noodles! You swear to me that you've given up Magic the Gathering after all the trouble it's gotten you into. You still return to that nasty habit? Oh, oh, shit. You sigh and admit that the lore of the sweet, sweet cards is too much there, to like, bear. Sucking on, <laughs> on calculus, just thumb. He's like, <laughs> That's mouthful, mouthful of thumb. <laughs> and you gave it, uh, and you gave into your former addiction. Did you stop going to your meetings? You explained that you kept going, but it turns out they the were actually just Magic the Gathering tournaments, which didn't help at all. I wasn't listening to any of that shit, but it was just long and boring enough that I did a deep dive into MTG, and I'm all in, baby. I assembled the baddest deck ever. <sighs> and so the cycle begins again. I got uh, Tassigur, the Golden Fang, and Vendillion Cleek, and Geist of St. Traft, and then I spent several thousand dollars bidding on a Black Lotus on eBay, and now I'm broke. I need to buy every copy of the card, Riptide Mangler, now because the name is red, so can I please have some money? Sad. Absolutely not. Sick! I've been waiting for an excuse to rob a bank. See ya, suckers! As Damien leaves, you realize he has stolen your entire MTG deck, making it much easier for you to quit the habit. And you enjoy begin finding healthy new hobbies for you, like <laughs> meditation, right, cross stretch, cross stitch, and it's suddenly on. flirting Fine. while maintaining Fine. aura of mystery and anticipation. Noodles is very get healing him a witch. and very bonding. <laughs> I love witches. You know, I'm gonna sit with my sister tonight. Aww. Oh, thanks. You sit with Red. Monster Camp might have been advertised as a dating simulator, but tonight is all about friendship simulator with you and your pal. You laugh the night away. Red is so fun and cool, you find yourself thinking about how her eyes remind you of... I'm gonna show oh. you all a trick with thumbs! Dead ass. <laughs> Dead ass. <laughs> uh, the, the glory of battle, a delicious banana split. Dead ass. Uh, Mercury in retrograde, uh, the most quotable line poetry. I'm assuming that each answer is like associated with one of the stats, and we'll get that stat. So you left the night away, read so fun and cool, you find yourself thinking about how her eyes remind you of... Hey. I see it. Uh, give me that ass. <laughs> Ew, I'm your sister. <laughs> hey, you got five plus charm. Nice. You don't say this aloud for fear of rejection, but based on the heavy eye contact you're getting, you can tell she got plus five charm from your compliment regardless. Oh, and having right. such a poet pinning smart uh, thoughts as... 
Red's eyes are like dad ass. You also gain plus one smarts, plus one bonus, plus one creativity, yeah, that's that's and good. plus one fun. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, that, I think right, that worked yeah, out for you. Guys. Okay, all right, yeah. Gracie gets plus five charm, and I get like one of the other four. Sweet. Works out. That works out, yeah. If only you could have Red's heart instead. Oh, to dream.